Yo, what's up everybody? Good to see you and welcome back to the Potato Boat YouTube channel. Today, I am very happy to give you guys a video that you guys have been asking for. All of my forest players are hopefully going to find this useful, but today we are going to give you a comprehensive list of everything that you can craft in your backpack in the forest. That's weapons and armor and all kinds of upgrades and useful tools that you'll be able to use on your journey. Now, as a note, as we're going through this video, it will probably be pretty long and you may be looking for something very specific. So this video is broken up into sections that we're gonna hopefully give you sections to click on and timestamps down in the description. But we're gonna be separating this into things like weapons, projectiles, clothing and armor, storage, and then kind of like an other slash weapons upgrades type of deal. So if you're ready, then I'm ready. Before we get going, make sure you click that subscribe button. That way you never miss a video. Hit the thumbs up to let us know that you like this video, especially if it was useful to you. And comment down below, what is your favorite thing to craft or what you found here that you really needed for your playthrough. But without further ado, let's look at what we can craft. So to kick off this huge crafting guide, we're gonna come out swinging heavy with the weapons section of the guide. So get yourself ready, ready to pause or whatever you need to do to see what you need to see. But here we go. First up, we have the crafted ax. Crafted ax is going to be the one stick, one rock, and one rope. Then up next, we have the slingshot. The slingshot is going to be one stick, one cloth, and one electrical tape. Next up, we're going to have the crafted bow, which is going to be one stick, one cloth, and one rope. Up next, we have the crafted club, which is one stick and one skull. Then next up, we have the upgraded stick, and this is one that's less of a weapon and more of a, you can use this as a weapon, but it's better used as a torch. It's one stick and one cloth, and this can be set on fire. Next, we have the upgraded rock, kind of in the same deal. You just need one rock, one cloth. You can also set this on fire. Then the S tier weapon of the game, the weak spear. You just need two sticks, and that makes a weak spear. And then the upgraded spear, you take that weak spear, you add two cloth, and three bone and you get the upgraded spear. If you want an incendiary spear, you take one upgraded spear and put it with one cloth and one booze. Then it's kind of less of a material base, but it is in the crafting menu is the flintlock pistol. We have a video on all the gun parts if you wanna find it right here, go click that and check that out. But you put all eight pieces of the gun parts into the mat and combine them and you will get yourself the flintlock pistol. You can also add the flashlight in here and get yourself a flintlock pistol with the flashlight, which is just cooler. And that wraps up the weapons section and moving on to the arrows and projectiles section of the crafting list. So let's get into it. If you wanna craft yourself some five regular arrows, you need one stick with five feathers. If you wanna make some bone arrows, which do 40% more damage, but they are a little bit more expensive and harder to make. So you need one stick, five feathers and five bones. If you want to make yourself, yourself five poison arrows, you can take any arrows and throw them on the crafting mat and give them four twin berries or four snow berries or one Anita mushroom or one Jack mushroom. So there's a lot of ways to make poison arrows uh, depending on what fauna you've picked up. And lastly for the arrows, if you want to make fire arrows, you give any five arrows and add to those one cloth and one booze and you have yourself some fire arrows. Now, moving on to the projectile side of this section, the first up, we have some Maltovs, which one Maltov is one booze and one cloth. You do need to light these before throwing, by the way, or else you just throw a bottle with a rag in it. Next up, you can make some bombs. If you wanna make a bomb, you can add one booze, one circuit board, one stack of coins, one wristwatch, and one electrical tape. If you wanna make a head bomb, you wanna take that bomb you just made and add one cannibal head to it, and that's just as easy as it is. And if you wanna make a sticky bomb, you take whatever bomb you just made and add one sap to it. And with that, you will make a sticky bomb. And that wraps up our projectiles and arrows section. And with those out of the way, we are now in our clothing and armor section. This is both things that are gonna help you survive the different terrains and conditions of the forest, as well as protecting yourself with some armor. So without further ado, let's do some armors. First up, you got the lizard skin armor, easy to get, kill a lizard, skin it, and one piece of lizard skin equals one piece of lizard armor. You can just wear it. Next up, you can make yourself some stealth armor to make it a little bit harder to be seen and heard. And for that, you take one lizard skin with 15 leaves, gives you one piece of stealth armor. If you want bone armor, which is way more sturdy, you're gonna take six bones, 
plus three cloths, and that will give you one piece of bone armor. Now, if you want to make some snowshoes to make yourself faster traveling in the snow to make the damage and frost a little easier on you, you're going to take five sticks and combine those with two ropes, and those will make some snowshoes for you. But as a warning, which we're going to get to these in a second, you cannot wear those at the same times as the rabbit fur boots. So you can have to choose to either wear the snowshoes or if you've made yourself some rabbit fur boots, you're going to wear those instead. Now, speaking of rabbit fur boots, if you want to make yourself a pair of rabbit fur boots, you need three rabbit furs and two ropes. And this adds about 20% protection from the cold, as well as increasing stealth. So they're pretty useful. If you want to make a warm suit for when you go into the snowy mountains, you're going to need one raccoon skin, four boar skins, six deer skins, one rabbit fur, two cloth, and two rope. That's a huge recipe, but it does give you 100 cold armor, which can help protect you from the cold because it is a full suit of armor. So if you're going to be doing a lot of extensive living in the cold zone, here you go. This is probably a really good recipe for you. And finally, we have the creepy armor, the best armor in the game. And just like the lizard armor, all you need to do for this one is kill a creepy enemy, which is any of the mutants that don't look like humanoids and skin them and they will give you a piece of creepy armor. Slap that on and ta-da, you are tanky. And now with all of that out of the way, we are on to the storage side of the crafting table. This is anything that allows you to carry more stuff, which is always good. And you, I highly recommend making every single one of these when you get the chance. Start off, we're gonna do a water skin used for carrying water with you. You need two deer skins and one rope. If you wanna make a pouch that will allow you to gather berries and mushrooms to eat later on, all you need there are two rabbit furs. Then up next, we have the stick bag, which will allow you to carry 20 sticks instead of the original 10 that you can carry. And for that, you need one rabbit fur, two rope, and three cloth. Likewise, for the rock bag, instead of carrying five rocks, you wanna carry 10. You're gonna need one boar skin, three ropes, and one cloth. If you'd like to carry a rock bag, the small rock bag like you use for your slingshot, you're gonna need one rabbit fur and a rope and that will allow you to pick up small rocks. Now to craft a quiver to hold 20 more arrows, what you're gonna need is three rabbit furs and one rope. For a spear bag, instead of only carrying one spear, be able to carry multiple spears to throw at people. You're gonna wanna make two boar skins, two deer skins, two cloths, and three ropes. And that will make you a nice little spear bag for more spearing fun. Now, with all that out of the way, that is most of the big craftable things that most people think of when we get to the craftables. But we do have this others section here that I want to cover that's going to be generally useful tools and generally useful creations that will help you along your journey that haven't fallen in the other categories. So first of all, you can make a repair tool that will allow you to repair your damaged structures. What you'll need for that is two sticks, one rock, two cloths, and 10 sap. Next up, you can actually craft your own rope. You can only hold four at a time, but you can actually make some of your own. And that is just seven claws. If you throw seven claws on the table and combine them, they make one rope. Next up is a sleeper craft that most people don't even ever think about, but you can actually make herbal medicine that is just as effective as the medicine found inside of suitcases. To make that, you need one aloe and one marigold. And this requires going around and chopping up plants and finding the correct plants to find these things, but that's what you need. If you wanna make an even greater herbal medicine, herbal medicine plus, it allows you to heal your health to full. You want one aloe medicine, one marigold, and one cone flower. In the same vein as all this health stuff, you can actually make an energy mix, which will help you when you are on low energy. And all you need for this is one chicory and one cone flower. And again, this does have a plus variant mix as well. It restores your energy to full. You need the chicory, you need the cone flower, and you need one aloe as well. And finally, in this others section, you can actually, just like the pistol that we talked about before, it doesn't take, you know, materials you find in the wild, but you can actually still craft Timmy's toy for story purposes. And that is collecting all pieces of the toy and throwing it on the mat. Maybe we'll make a video of all the toy locations. If you want that, let me know down in the comments below. But that's gonna wrap up our other section. Now, before we end this video, I would be remiss not to mention that you can also use the crafting table to increase the speed or damage of your weapons. Adding two specific things to your weapons will either increase the damage or the speed, but it does reduce the opposite stat. So if you add damage, you'll have less speed. If you add more speed, you'll have less damage. But if you want to increase the speed of your weapon, 
you can actually add sap and a feather to your weapon to make it swing faster. And likewise for damage, you can add sap or teeth to increase your damage. Now the weapons that you can do this on are as follows. The plain ax, the crafted ax, the rusty ax, the modern ax, the crafted club, the upgraded stick, the machete, the tennis racket, and the club. Those are the weapons that you can modify the speed or damage of depending on what you add to it. And as another little side note and or bonus tip, you can actually massively increase the damage, like a damage plus upgrade, but it does mega reduce the speed of these weapons by adding sap and booze. And it basically creates like a broken glass, big damage type deal. And you can actually do that on all the weapons we listed before, plus the upgraded rock. I don't know if that's gonna be useful for you, but if you're like a, a upgraded rock only user, there you go. You can make this thing hit even harder. And with that out of the way, that is the entire crafting list of all the items that you can craft in your backpack while playing the forest. Many of these can be game changers and can keep you alive, keep you strong, and keep you moving. So I hope this was extremely helpful. If it was, make sure you hit that subscribe button, come back to the channel as we cover more survival games and lists and cool tips and tricks like this. Make sure you hit the thumbs up on the video if it was useful to you and leave a comment down in the below section where them comments are and let us know what was useful. What have you made? What didn't you know that you could actually do on this crafting mat? But that all being said, I appreciate you guys. Thank you for dropping by the video and we will catch you in the next one. Hey there, if you enjoyed the video today, make sure to check out these other videos we have listed here or click on our channel for some more awesome content. But have a great day regardless, you know, just, you know, even if you don't click. Okay, bye.